Okay, so here we have the Mobius 53 foot trailer with reefer option. So I have the option of putting in the refrigerator unit or not. Now I've built some AMT and Revell trucks, but I've never built a trailer, so this will be my first trailer. And interestingly, it's a Mobius, not an AMT. I knew the AMT was more expensive. So the reason why I bought this trailer was because I actually had built the BJ and the Bear Kenova Kenworth cab over back. I purchased the kit in 1980s. Show came out in 1979. Bought the kit in the 1980s. Didn't build into 1990s. And then I just recently revisited it in 2020 by shortening the frame because the frame was too long. And after that, it actually looks great, and now I need a trailer to go with it. So that's the backstory on that. So pretty much it took me like 25 years to um, finally get to the trailer. So I'm going to be painting it red, white, with black and gold trim. So for those of you who are not familiar with BJ and the Bear, just look it up. He basically was an independent trucker that was a TV show, and he drove around helping people, and he had a Kenworth K100. Aerodyne cab over so um, Nice looking truck So Anyway, here's the box. I'm about to open it Looks big It is 26 and a half inches long when completed Now I will need the reefer option and I notice that the doors are chrome and the front end is chrome but for my purposes I actually don't need all that chrome because I'm going to be painting it like I said to match my um, Kenworth and for those of you who don't know what it looks like you can actually watch my other video where I show you how I shorten the frame so you can get a glimpse of what the paint scheme is like so I'm wondering if I should stick with this kit or maybe buy the AMT because I actually do not need the chrome front end panel and I don't need the chrome rear door panel. But unfortunately the AMT kit is a lot more expensive. I think it's 15 or 20 dollars more than what I paid for this kit. So I gotta think about it. So um, here's a box. I haven't opened it yet. So um, let me open it and then I'll show you the unboxing in a second. Okay, so here's the unboxing. Now the box is long and rectangular, which makes sense because it's basically just four flat long panels that make up the trailer. Tires. One sharp looking uh, refrigerator unit. These look like the suspension pieces, the airbags, some under the frame. This looks like some part of a frame. These look the, the wheels, the wheel rings. Nice. Tires. Don't know if there's any particular brands. We'll know when I unbag it. Can't see through the plastic bag. Oh, there's the front end and the doors. Nice piece of uh, chrome. Clear pieces, lenses. These look like the air cylinders and the support leg. Plus the uh, flat panels. 
basically just four large sheets. Instructions and decals. Okay, I'll take them out of plastic bag and be back. So as far as decals go, you get two sheets that look similar. Another cool move, herb. And then you get this sheet with all the um, similar to running lights or the reflectors. And the brand, Great Dane. So safety precaution stickers. Okay, let me unbag the other parts. So here are the instruction manual or the instruction sheet. Looks simple enough. I'm just a little surprised that the rear doors do not open so you can't access the back. Doesn't look like this that many pieces or it's too hard. So this looks like the bottom with the ribbing. And this is the side. It is not a smooth side, so it will have this ribbing on it. So when you if you do choose decals, which I'm not, you just to make sure the decals set in to the lines. But I'm gonna be spray painting it for the color scheme. Okay, so I unbagged the um Kit. So you can see the plastic pieces in more detail. There's the undercarriage, nice deep ribbing. This is where the kingpin goes. This is where the frame rails and the wheels are going to go. So I'll probably paint it flat black. There's the siding with the ribbing as you can see. Different sheet metal. A little bit of flashing over here, but not too bad. You can just remove it with your hand. Of course the interior doors don't open so you don't have to worry about painting the interior. Here's the top piece, it's nice and smooth. I'm going to be painting everything red so this is the reefer. This is the vents. I'm a little disappointed that they didn't mold it open. Um, it's closed so I'm going to have to paint it black to simulate the holes. This is the Great Dane mud flaps. The little raised Great Dane emblem. This is the uh, suspension pieces. I'm going to probably have to assemble it and then paint it red. This is the support. Here are more suspension pieces and the frame rails. The brakes airbags, shock absorbers, airbags, brakes. This is the fuel tank for the reefer, I believe, or some kind of air tank. This is the back bumper with the protection bar so cars don't slip underneath. More suspension arms. And here is the chrome doors. The front and back panels are fully chrome, so you can leave them like that. But since I'm going to be painting them over, I'm just going to paint over it. But it's nice details, nice chrome. If you have left of chrome, you can just backwash it. Blackwash it, I mean. And um, here are the wheels. Chrome. They are easily... They protect it with little bits of paper, nice chrome. Debating whether to um, matte finish it to bring down the tone, to shine a little bit, but maybe I'll just leave it shiny. Then here are the tires. <clears throat> There's no name brand on it. One side is flat, smooth I mean, 
and one side says energy and has a tire size on it but that's about it no name brand which is fine okay so I'll separate it by color and then I'll be back okay so I assembled some items and prepped them for painting so the suspension I know I'm gonna paint them red as opposed to some people may want to paint some black silver um, before assembling it but I kind of knew um, the trucks the trailers deem was gonna be red white with black and gold trim so that's gonna be mostly red I masked off where the wheels are gonna touch or where I'm going to glue this is the uh, the sporting legs they're gonna be silver some tanks also on silver mud flaps and drum brakes and black flat black and of course the um, bottom I want to paint it flat black the reef is going to be red I masked off where the grill is going to be and then the rest of the trailer I'll uh, assemble after I spray paint the bottom I can spray paint it together when it forms a box as opposed to each and every flat panel. Because I need to do some masking and I want the masking tape to line up. Okay, I'll be back.